So hey, it's Funk, Funk Roberts from FunkMMA.com. I'm here with Stefan Struve. How you doing, Stefan? I'm great, man. It's always good in Canada. Man. Yeah, love it. <laughs> love, love to have you here. Um, Stefan, just wanted to ask you a few questions about strength and conditioning and how important it is to you. And to start off, how important is uh, conditioning and strength, strength and conditioning when you prepare for fights? Well, it's, uh, in my opinion, it's one of the most important things. If I don't do my strength and conditioning in the way I should be doing it, I don't feel as confident as I would, you know, if I wouldn't do it. The, the right way and uh, I always try to do it at least two or three times a week, you know, and then for the rest of do all the, the fighting, the BJJ and the sparring and whatever not, but, you know, at least two or three times a week, it's really important for me. Right. And is, is there, uh, what's your favorite or what's your, uh, you know, that, that, that conditioning exercise and work that you're all, you always do when you prepare for your fight? You have to make sure it's in that training. Well, uh, for, for strength-wise, you know, I do, uh, uh, schedules with the bench press and the squats and the deadlifts and uh, I don't do it to uh, to repeat as much like 30 reps something like that I do it uh, in a good way like eight reps for seven times with 260 pounds something like that and uh, for uh, the conditioning I like to do the, the, the hand bike swimming uh, just go for uh, for sprints you know stuff like that and, uh, well, the hand bike that's one of the worst. Oh, because, is that the one? Yeah, it's <laughs> terrible. But, uh, the, oh, if you look at it in another way, you know, I like it too because after I, I'm, I'm done with that one, you know, you feel really tired, but you know, you did a really good workout with that one because you, you give a, a lot of energy away with that one. Yeah. So that would that be the the I guess the worst the the, the one exercise you know you have to do, but you dread doing it. Well, I know it's coming up when we do strength and conditioning. And every time I'm like, okay, you know, and we do it most of the time. We do uh, seven or eight rounds of 30 seconds, yeah. and you just go all out, and you're you're just dead after that. <laughs> but it's good. It's good. It's really good for your body. So. Awesome. Um, what fight do you think you would have been in your best condition? Do you remember a fight where you're like, okay, I'm in my best condition now. There's no. Uh, oh, well, my last fight was was good with Barry. It yeah. Really good after the first round, didn't break, break a sweat even, you know. And uh, a couple a couple other ones uh, uh, in the UFC. Let me think. Uh, the one in Germany against Stoinich, the one yeah. in LA against uh, Gormley, and uh, yeah, well, a couple other ones too, probably. Yeah, like everything went well for that camp, you know. That's when you feel at your best. Totally. Right? Now on the flip side, do you remember a fight where it was like? You were just in your worst condition. Um, I think it's been the, the fight with Roy Nelson. Yeah. Uh, about six weeks before the fight, I uh, got uh, a type of bronchitis. So okay. Every time I got training, I got a little tired. I stopped coughing and coughing and coughing. I couldn't go anymore. You know, but I didn't want to uh, uh, cancel the fight, right. so I took the fight anyway. And but I felt really bad, and then. They fight. I had a food poisoning. Too. Oh god! So that was just the worst one ever. yeah, totally. <laughs> Remember that one. Um, and, and lastly, what what things can you uh, what tips can you give to young fighters uh, or amateur fighters that are you know wanting to get to that uh, top top just, level? Uh, you know, um, don't don't be too picky with your fights. You know, of course you need to. Uh, you know, when you want to go pro, you need to be ready to go pro. That's an important thing. You see nowadays too many guys who want to go pro but are not ready to go pro yet. They want to do it too quick, but. You know, I took a lot of fights on short notice in Europe when I wasn't fighting for the UFC. It was uh, about three years before I got to the UFC. Every single fight that was offered to me, I basically took. And, you know, I won almost all of them. I only won, I lost one fight in three years, I think. And, um, there were a lot of fights I took on a week notice or something like that, you know, but just a few, you know, you really want to go to the top, man. Just give your all and believe in yourself. That's it. Well, sorry, you know what? One last question. Okay, here you go. So would you rather fight a fighter that's more conditioned but less skilled or a fighter that's le uh, less conditioned but more skilled? So you have, to, you have the choice. You can pick someone who's got amazing conditioning but they're not very good, like they're not as skilled as you are, or someone who's more skilled than you but the conditioning's horrible. Who would you fight? That's it. <laughs> you didn't ask what I I know, so I know, sir. So. I know, I know. I uh, well, you know, a, a more skilled fighter with his conditioning and socks, you know, that's... That's who you want to fight. I know my condition is always good, so, yeah. you know, I, can, I know I can go for three or five rounds, but, you know, uh, a fighter with a good gas tank with less skills, you know, it's, it's a hard one, man. Yeah, it's, sorry, I threw, I threw that one at you, I apologize, but uh, you answered it great, man. Thanks so much, Stephen, I appreciate it.
Uh, Funk Roberts and the Stephen Struve. Thanks a lot, man. Sure, no problem.